Hello and welcome to today's Nigel show where I have currently no idea what I'm doing here. It is Sunday. Sunday is a day off for some people. For me it's a day here. Half a day. A few hours. Not really long enough to get started on any particular project. So this is what I shall do. I do quite like something that is completely disconnected, random, pointless, etc. Hmm. That looks like the only thing that's going to happen. Now, just up here, we have Jason the dinosaur who has fallen over somewhat and he needs to stand up. And I think it's time he went on Google Maps. Before that though, a brief history of Jason the T-Rex. One day, many years back, I did something a little bit illegal. And that was to pull over onto the hard shoulder of the M602. And the reason for this decision was I kept spotting this T-Rex on the hard shoulder. I conjured up some sort of backstory that this little boy was in the back of his mummy or daddy's car and he was chucking a tantrum and he just simply flung Jason out of the window and probably felt bad ever since. But his parents, being more responsible than what I am, said, no, we can't stop on the hard shoulder. That dinosaur is gone forever. Sorry, Toby. But his name wasn't Toby, was it? It was probably Aaron. And then this poor soul of a T-Rex became a mascot at the cable factory where I worked. Actually, it wasn't a factory. It was a warehouse where we cut cable and then sold it to building sites. That's not really that relevant. What is, though? One of the tools that we had in the cable place was these hydraulic cutters. They could just cut through cable that thick like it was butter and butter that's been out of the fridge. A bit like the same thing that the firemen have for cutting roofs off cars. And my friend Ryan used this tool to cut this dinosaur's head straight off. Look, you can see the join there where a much more friendly friend of mine called Luke stuck it back on. It may sound a bit stupid this, but I actually felt quite sad seeing this dinosaur's head being cut off. I didn't actually cry, but it was, it was just saddening. It was unnecessary. It was vandalism. Poor dinosaur. It's bad enough that he's lost one of his hands. Maybe that happened when he fell out the window. But now it's time to pay some proper homage to this plastic friend I have. The guardian of the yard. The eater of the sausages that I don't particularly want. Back on the shelf. There we go. You can stay there. I think I can feel satisfied that I've done something useful now today. Let's talk about something else. Bikes, you know, push bikes, cycling, dangerous, very dangerous. And I'm not talking about falling off or getting knocked over. I'm talking about the pedals. I do walk in and out of this space quite a lot. And uh, can you see where that pedal is just there? Now look what happens to my leg every time I walk past it. Gosh, I feel fantastic today. Do you know why? Because I'm losing some of this podge here. You may not know this, but yesterday I weighed myself and I was 16 and a half stone. That's too much. Today, not only breakfast, feel great. That's all I need to do. Obviously, that is about 90% nonsense, but it's a start. I used to be a skinny man, 12 stone. So 16 and a half just makes me feel like I'm constantly lugging around another person on my back. But of course, you know, I'm here and uh, well, I, I get hungry, don't I? And I get hungry and then I eat things like pasties, which are actually not that good for me. The magpies, perfectly okay with it. At least I presume they are. Maybe they're not. There you go, have a feast. I did promise you a rather random, unconnected video. But what next? I have about maybe 40 minutes before I do have to go home. So, should I do a little job on Barney? Now then, is Barney chuffing a little bit of smoke? Because that's what that looked like just then. Or was it just dust off the yard? Well, let's have a bonnet open moment. Let's have a bonnet open moment. 
Let's have a bonnet moment open. No, hang on, that's yeah. a Christmas song. Well, I've just checked the oil and there's not a drop lost. So either it's a brand new issue or it's down to my imagination and yours, if you saw it. And of course, this car has done quite a lot of mileage actually recently. I mean, going to Keithley and back was only 60 miles, but then going to Chesterfield and back, and then going to Chesterfield and then to Leicester and back, it, it all adds up. It's quite a bit. No problems. Well, it must just have been a figment of my imagination after all. After all, you ain't seen it in then, did you? By the way, only two and a half thousand revs when cold. Okay, who was it the other day in the comments of the last Barney video that said every time they look at the registration, they see Vosaporn? Well, it's true. In fact, that's what this car should be called. Vosaporn. But the thing is, Barney's a proper name, isn't it? Vosaporn isn't. And how would you spell it? Clearly, V O, yeah, 5 S 4 A. Vosa. It's just incorrect, isn't it? What about the porn bit? How'd you spell porn? It's not P W N, is it? It could be porn as in P A W N. That's not the one that we're thinking of, is it? No. How sad. Then again, I can't talk, can I? I might have mentioned this before, but these trim tools look a little bit like, uh, I don't know, dinosaur cutlery. So, uh, tomorrow, I'm going to use one of these to eat my din with, or lunch, to be precise. Yeah. And whilst we have Barney here, Vosaporn, Barney Vosaporn. That'd be an interesting day. Maybe that should be its full name. Barney Vosaporn. I still have the issue of how I'm going to spell it. Anyway, what I was going to say was, still thinking about things, what I can do with this car to make it more individual. And um, I don't want to ruin it. So has anybody got any really curious and interesting ideas? Just stick them in the comments where they belong. Looks like coffee mug stains all over the dashboard. I think I need to remove that. Really, this car looks like it's had a great big slug living on the windscreen. And, well, it's glue. It's glue, basically. And just like that, boom, bang! The glue is gone. Almost, anyway. Gosh, imagine aspiring to be like that silly bang bloke. What's he called? Terry Scott. All of that lovely sunshine that was going on just before, and now it's all covered with clouds again, which means it may well just rain. That's exciting, isn't it? No, it's not! Can't you see me? I'm not a robot hamster in disguise. If I was a robot hamster, you'd probably be able to tell that I look like a hamster or a robot. But as it goes, I'm neither. But neither a robot or a hamster I shall be, or ever be, because it's just not me. That's some nice parking there. Right, okay, question for everyone. Um, has anyone got a dog? I really want a dog. Preferably a female dog, um, and one that uh, doesn't molt a lot. Uh, a, an ordinary sized dog, not anything too big, not a yappy thing, not a Jack Russell, and you know, a friendly dog that they just happen to have but don't really want any longer. Brakes on again, now, yep, there we go. Brakes on again, now, yes, got it right. 
brakes on again ah there we go overtaking now and a good thing really now this is a 50 limit and to do 35 along here will irritate people driver of the Ford KA let's get back to the dog thing I really want a dog um, I also want something to eat so I'm gonna have something to eat first and then carry on thinking about having a dog has anyone got a dog or something to eat and now we're at the end of this rather curious video of which um, I don't know whether you've seen all the way through but how long is it would you like to take a guess I'm going to guess 4 minutes and 12 seconds put your guess in the comments and whoever's correct on how long this video is will win a prize